chess on TV. You will never have been the son of a rich man or prince. Hi, I'm Anthony Whitaker. And I'm Jamal Howard. And we're the co-founders of the New American Folk Theater. The New American Folk Theater's mission is to create original works of art that tell the American story using the resources that are available to us. This fall will be our first production, Two from the Trailer Park, Dirty Girl and Salome Goes All the Way. This room is empty now, but we want to fill it up. The New American Folk Theater wants to rent out this space to perform our musicals. It's at the Den Theater. Now, we want to raise $1,700, which covers about half of our budget. We want to use a lot of that money to rent out this space. I was reading the original Grimm's Brothers Cinderella, and I thought, drunk father, mean stepmother, ugly stepsisters, and impractical shoes. That's white trash. So I decided to write a musical about it, and it's called Dirty Girl. Dirty Girl is the story of Jennifer, who lives in a trailer with her step-aunt Yolanda and her twin step-cousins Tammy and Tammy. One of them's an I Tammy and one's a Y Tammy. It's prom night, and Jennifer must decide between going to the prom with the captain of the football team or the captain of the chess club. And she finds out that happy endings aren't always the way they turn out in storybooks. Well, why don't you play us a song? Thanks, Jamal, I will. So it's the morning of the prom, and the sun is rising over the trailer court. And our cast of characters sings It's a beautiful morning in the trailer court The Pop-Tarts are pop, it's time to take the kids to school It's a beautiful morning in the Wishwell trailer court Where the popular girls were gonna make all the rules It's a beautiful morning in the trailer court So flowers are in bloom and spring is in the air It's a beautiful morning in the Wishwell trailer court In all of the Bible, there is no story with a greater redneck element than that of the story of Salome. Salome is a girl whose uncle kills her father so that he can steal her mother to be his wife. Once he gets tired of her, he goes after Salome. He asks her to do the dance of the seven veils, which she refuses to do unless he cuts off the head of John the Baptist, who's being kept prisoner in a well. That's white trash. I just picked up the entire story and dropped it right down in the Wishing Well trailer court in Azalea, Georgia in 1987, and we have Act 2. Salome goes all the way. We really need your help dragging these people out of the Wishing Well trailer court and throwing them on stage at the Den Theater in Chicago. You can check out our rewards on Kickstarter. We have some great incentives for you. We're giving lap dances. No, we're not. Thank you. You will never have been on TV you will never have been the son